With more people staying close to home the past couple of months, there is more interest in raising backyard chickens. Today, Northwest Area Livestock Specialist Dana Zook gets us up to speed. In this kind of climate we have, more people are staying home, they're uh, spending more time with their families, and so we've seen a, a increased popularity with backyard chicken ownership, and so there's been a lot of interest in um, getting chicks, starting some backyard laying hens, and that sort of thing. Chickens can be a great agricultural opportunity for families in both rural and urban areas. But there's more to it than traveling down to the local feed store and picking up a few chicks. There's a lot to consider. Before you bring home your chicks, are you allowed in your area to have chickens? So your city, county, and even neighborhood ordinances are very important to review because they may allow you to have chickens, but it may be that they limit you on the number of chickens, the size and the type. And most likely if you're in an urban area, you won't be able to have roosters or you know, any sort of poultry that's kind of loud. So in general, if we're talking about a smaller operation, so a backyard sort of situation, if you're in a semi-urban area, you need about one and a half square feet per bird, all right? Um, so if you have about five, four to five birds, it's a very small coop, but make sure that you're providing them with the adequate space. And then if they have a run, you need about five square feet in the run or the fenced in area um, if, they're, if they're enclosed. Now a free range, that may not be um, something that you're much concerned with. You can buy a coop or make one yourself. If you're starting with chicks, you will also need a brooder. A brooder is a heated house that chicks need because they can't regulate their own temperature. Chickens can be a really exciting thing to have for your family, um, but it's important to understand the, the, the responsibility you have to take care of your chickens, make sure that they have a healthy environment, we maintain their health, um, but also that you understand that um, the health of your family. So with any livestock, you need to, handling livestock, it's important to uh, wash your hands in between. Another important thing in raising chickens is protecting them from predators even in urban areas. Predators are something, even in an urban situation, you really need to be concerned about um, because the neighborhood cat, your neighbor's dog, can really be a predator for your birds um, if they're not protected in their housing sort of enclosure. And so think about the house that they're in, the coop that they're in. Are there places that little animals can get in? I mean, raccoons and skunks and possums can really get into small spaces. And so make sure that, you know, things are enclosed. You want the poultry house to be well ventilated. Um, yeah, you can get coyotes, uh, hawks, owls can be a, a predator, a potential predator for poultry. And once it kind of gets started, predation gets started, they know that those chickens are there and so it can be a, a problem that you deal with in the future. For more information on backyard chickens, go to sunup.okstate.edu. I'm Curtis Harris.